Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Howdy Libra, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading Libra. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do Libra, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. Uh, as well Libra, I would like to ask uh, if you enjoy this reading uh, or you just enjoy my vibe Libra. I would really appreciate it if you were to uh, give this video a like and subscribe and because uh, it really supports my tarot channel in that way. And I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me Libra as well before we finally get into this reading for you this weekly reading for you Libra I just want to say and remind you that when it comes to my weekly readings use your intuition Libra because put it in perspective just a man reading some tarot cards to you you know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't uh, my readings are here just to give you some food for thought a perspective to consider but never making a choice in your life Libra because it's your life to live not mine so all that being said, Libra, let's just jump into your reading. And also, honey, full transparency as well, Libra. Uh, you're one of the videos that ended up being deleted <laughs> accidentally by me, honey. So y'all's, Libra, y'all's I had to, I'm having to do again, which to be honest, I don't even remember what happened or what was covered in Libra's reading last time. So um, I guess it just kind of works out. So uh, let's just get into your reading now, Libra. Um, we're going to start with your objective card for this week. And I forgot I got my nails done. <laughs> I was just like, what, whose fingers are these, Libra? Uh, your objective card is the Seven of Pentacles, Libra. So what does the Seven of Pentacles represent? The Seven of Pentacles is all about uh, n nurturing things that you're currently in the process of growing, Libra. So this is a really good affirmation card uh, for my Libras that are actively planting seeds and actively nurturing something in their life. Um, usually when it comes to the pentacles, it's addressing something that you're trying to manifest into the physical world right now. You're trying to have it, you know, <laughs> I mean, this kind of just gives an explanation to how my mind processes things, Libra. But it, and I don't know if it's intended. It's probably not intended with this card. But like, I kind of see like the pentacles because when you're talking about tarot, uh, Libra, obviously we're only just talking about energy. We're not talking about physical things uh, coming up. Or that's like right there usually. Well, I worded that bad. Anyways, um, I see this as like the... Um, energy, right? I see this as like the uh, astral realm, right? As you will have it and um, trying to just bring this into the physical, having it grow into something into the physical that actually would be uh, bountiful for you, right? Because you see this plant here and we can just pretend like that. Um, it's like you're growing some potatoes, honey, or something like that, some type of plant. Um, so as I was saying, Libra, in that awful uh, example, um, very much so an affirmation to my Libras that are doing something because when you have this as your um, objective card, Libra, this is letting you know of like an affirmation being like, hey, you're doing the good thing. You're doing the right things. Continue watering your plants. Continue tending to them, whatever those plants are for you. Some of you Libras, it might be a career thing. Other of you guys, it might be a certain relationship in your life, platonic or romantic, right? So let's look at some clarifiers here now, Libra, for your Seven of Pentacles. We have coming in for you the Page of Pentacles and then the Three of Wands, Libra, as well as the Nine of Wands. So in this dynamic, Libra, this is telling me a storyline of um, definitely this week you're probably going to... Um, <sighs> Libra, I feel like you're going to be offered some type of... Um, breadcrumb and I, I i know anyone that's not new to my channel knows i like to use the term breadcrumb when it comes to um spiritual beings your spirit guides archangels garden ancestors whatever it is that you believe in honey um i feel like you're going to be left a sign for like a, a positive omen so let's just use an example to relay the messages of this tarot in simpler in simpler terms let's say um you are a farmer 
right? You took a risk and you decided to plant some avocado seeds, right? Or yeah, avocado trees. Granted, I know y'all that avocados take like 20 years for them to bear fruit, but let's just, let's just, you know, let's just ignore that part, right? Um, you decided to take a risk for a new crop, avocado trees, honey. You love avocados? I personally am not a huge fan. Anyways, um, <laughs> took a risk doing it. And then you're kind of waiting it out, right? When you don't know if the avocado risk is going to be, um, will pay out right you don't know if that you're it's actually going to grow to anything worth worthy because it takes so long for it to start bearing fruit right um when you see in this pay three of wands here this is usually like you're seeing a sign um at like i like to say it's like my light at the end of the tunnel card so it's just like if you've been in a uh, long journey of sorts libra um some dark tunnel right um when you see this card you're starting to see like hints of land right you start seeing where it's just like oh wait a minute like we're out in the far distance you can see that light you can see that land when you've been out in the ocean for a long time libra and so and then you have the page of pentacles coming in here now normally libra this card is um a card when you can kind of refer to as like new communication coming forward or communication being extended with something that you weren't initially having channels of communication with um and plus also with pages it's talking pages always reference new energies libra so i do get this sense almost where it's just like and especially since i see page of coins and some of your starting cards as well spoiler alert libra um you have it coming in twice so definitely um for my Libras, this is definitely, I mean, when you associate pentacles, it's talking about finances usually. So when you have this coming in so strongly, definitely talking about new money, new ways of income coming in for you. Now that doesn't necessarily mean Libra that receiving that message, that means you're this week, you're going to be getting like a new check, <laughs> a new stream of revenue coming in immediately. Again, remember avocado trees, right? Some of you guys might be, because we're all in different phases of our life, Libra, right? All the Libras that are receiving this reading. Some of you guys, you may be getting the offers of the avocado seeds right now that initiates you going through this process. Other parts of you may be at the different part of a growing phase, Libra, right? So regardless of your stage, just pay attention to whatever the breadcrumb is, whatever the offering of the Page of Pentacles is, because it's definitely implying some new um, stream of income, a new stream of conversation, right? Now with this nine of wands here, this is an affirmation more so whatever that page of pentacles is in, is in reference to, it's more so just about you. So even if there are other party members involved in like, you know, maybe like a contract is offered, for example, Libra, um, it seems to just be like a solo thing. Um, it's all about just like, because with the nine of wands, it's usually, I like to see this as a card of like going in your car and going out on a road trip by yourself to find yourself sort of thing. So in this dynamic, I do kind of get this sense that this is all more so reference into some type of personal project of yours that doesn't really include necessarily anybody else. Like you are kind of like the main focus of this energy point here, right? So interesting energies to have for your objective good cards overall um still libra just pay attention to whatever that three of wands is for you because that's going to be um libra what will help guide you to where it is that you need to go next um i feel so uh let's now get into i pulled some starting cards for you libra your past present and future um and we're going to just start out with your past right now what are the energies that you have been dealing with and coming out of probably still dealing with some reminiscent of that energy as well Libra, and you guys have the moon card coming forward here. Now, with the moon card coming forward, I forgot I want to show you guys this card a little bit more. This is a card of like things revealing themselves to you. Um, it's usually a card of um, stuff usually catching you off guard, Libra. Things kind of, uh, well, let me just pull some clarifiers, Libra, before I continue on with this. Okay. So in your past that you've been uh, working on, Libra, that's kind of like come to light. I feel like some type of um, Five of Wands here, my conflict card, Libra. I kind of feel like some type of uh, bump in the road happened, happened, happened um, for you, Libra, that started distracting you of your energy, started taking more of your time um, that you had to put your focus on. Like you've been walking in your path and then something was revealed to you in your path that you kind of had to address before you cont uh, continued walking forward, Libra. Um, 
So this is where that conflict comes in. It doesn't necessarily mean conflict with another person, but some type of conflict of interest in your life that was kind of impeding you. For some of you guys, um, it's, you know, I don't even want to give examples, right? Because you feel like you get the point, Libra, right? So, and then we pulled the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands coming in again for you. Nines are following you, Libra. And so I kind of, well, we'll put a hold on that. I was going to tell you, Libra, to write it down to look up for numerology. If you feel drawn to look up nine right now, um, do so. This is more so my own analytical nature, Libra, where it's just like, I don't want to be that person that's just like, oh, I see a Libra card here. I see a Taurus card here. You might be dealing with the Taurus or her son. Like, I don't want to be that. But um, it is something I am taking note of. And I now I'm getting some heavy deja vu. <laughs> some heavy deja vu. Hello. Um, okay. So I'm going to say write this down. Uh, nine of wands i'm gonna say write this down because i'm getting such hardcore deja vu right now and it's like anyone that's experienced deja vu knows how like weird of a feeling it is and it's really distracting me like it's catching me off guard um wow okay so anyways <laughs> with this nine of swords here and this nine of wands we already talked about the nine of wands what it's talking about right so you already had some struggles on your journey you already have been um very much so building some character for some of you Libras, you probably have gotten a better relationship with yourself because you kind of have i kind of just get the sense this conflict has made you understand yourself better a little bit or how your brain works or maybe it's a weird message libra but i feel that some of you guys kind of know how to um manage yourselves better maybe some of you guys have recently put yourself on a routine or a schedule but with this nine of swords here libra this is a card of anxiety right it's the sleepless nights and you know these crows are the representation of your thoughts libra where they're just constantly lingering um i feel like this was a distraction for a while for you libra but i see you coming out of it truly because this is obviously in your past right you are coming out of it let's actually just get a closing card for this row libra because I am just interested in seeing how this will close off. But um, definitely, Libra, I, it's a good sign. If you still are, de are dealing with this energy with that five of pentacles, or five of wands, I said pentacles, let's see the ten of pentacles now, um, with this five of wands, just know I do kind of feel like it was essential for you just because of this nine of wands continuously following you. So there's definitely... Um, some type of shift that was essential, um, I feel like. Um, because I feel like in this moon card, in this five of wands, it's not it's not necessarily a situation, Libra, where um, you had to address something in your path and then you just kept walking forward as if nothing happened. I feel like you had to address something in your path and then it kind of uh, changed something in you. Whether you kind of redirected yourself now, feel like you need to change your direction a little bit or something changed in you because of this past thing, right? So, um, and you get the Ten of Pentacles here. And this is the affirmation I was saying, though, Libra. Aware is just like, I do feel like this was essential for you to deal with this because this is getting you in proper alignment with your Ten of Pentacles, which is the, you know, this is like having your cake and eating it too card. Um, you know, finances are just there. Pro uh, Pentacles has been following you for a very long, uh, hot minute now, Libra, as well. So really look out for the, my finances, for my Libras. This is really seeming like you guys are, a lot of you guys are on the path towards like financial freedom. Random message, but anyways, now Libra, let's get into your uh, current energies that you're dealing with. Seven of Swords, ooh, Libra. Some of you guys are feeling a little bit distrustful of something. Either distrustful Libra or you're feeling overwhelmed on a situation. Now, when I say distrustful, it doesn't immediately, again, mean some type of social situation. You could feel kind of distrustful in terms of um, how something would pan out, right? So let's pull some clarifiers and see what's going on here. With the Seven of Swords, it's like, uh, I always give this scenario of where it's like you're trying to make one trip from the car to your house, carrying a bunch of groceries. So you carry all the groceries at once and it's getting too much. So I do see you right now, Libra, um, kind of uh, releasing uh, the how what a, what it is that you're having responsibility over libra does that make sense it's like you overburdened yourself and you're trying to start now releasing some of those burdens um i feel so let's look at these clarifiers now can we want this card as well you got all of these cards all right all right libra so your clarifiers for your five of swords seven of swords rather is the six of wands the five of swords the king of cups the seven of cups and then the strength card libra leo's card uh so 
give me a moment, Libra, while I break this down and try to figure out how the story is trying to be told. Because when you have like a, right, you start out with the Seven of Swords, which is just feeling like overburdened, right? And trying to, you know, and it makes sense now that I referenced from before, it feels like some of you guys put just, or Libras have put yourself on a schedule or more of a routine. Um, I feel like it's kind of somewhat in response to this as well, right? um so looking at this five of swords coming in here definitely this is my high road card taking the high road so i don't see you engaging in this any further libra i kind of see you trying to rather than continuously being overburdened right you know let's just say, use the example of like two of pentacles i wish i had the two of pentacles with me maybe we'll pull it up in this reading libra but the two of pentacles you're juggling things and the two of pentacles character i like to see it as is someone that's just continuously trying to just juggle it all right because that's their art form is trying to be a jugglist, jug someone that juggles, honey. For you in this Five of Swords, I kind of see you being like, oh, I don't actually want to juggle all this. Let me drop some, let me drop some of these swords, you know, let me leave some of these swords to other people, right? Um, but with the Strength card coming in here, a tough decision is made um, with the Seven of Cups as well. A tough decision is made and, or is in the, I feel like it's actually partially part, part part of this. Having to release some of your responsibility, Libra, probably was a little bit hard for you to do. Um, but with this strength card coming in in the Seven of Cups, there's a, I feel like a different choice. Like, it's almost like you released your burdens, right? And now you're trying to fill up that time that you were having for maybe like other people or things that were just draining your energy, not trying to grow anything, Libra. Now it's just like, for some of you, it feels like the world is kind of like your oyster. Like you're putting yourself on a structure, structured schedule. And now um, you're starting to be like, okay, what cup will serve me best right now? Right? Because then you have the King of Cups here. King of Cups with the Six of Wands. This is the card of victory here, Libra. And it's the card, it's the spotlight card. So it's almost like a lot of you Libras are now putting weird message but i kind of feel like some of you libras are now finally putting a spotlight on yourselves when before um yourself and like the cups that you want to actually manage rather than maybe like before libra like you were just managing a whole bunch of things some of which were just were not conducive or had anything to do with you libra um and now it's kind of just in this place where it's just like you checked out from this energy, you did what you needed to do, whether it was walking away, taking the high road, or whether it was just simply putting yourself on a structure, Libra, structured schedule, Libra. Um, I see you with this strength card coming in and finally breaking some type of cycle in this way for yourself, where it's just like if you always were used to like working... Um, last minute on things, if I see you addressing this finally. Um and yeah, I, it's um, very much so a lot of you Libras, I kind of just get the sense of like um, mental maturity is something that's coming forward to you. And with this mental maturity, you're starting to just appreciate yourself more, falling in love with yourself a little bit more, just doing a little bit more self-care for yourself, even if you're not doing necessarily self-care things. Nine of Wands following you. Okay, Libra, write down Nine of Wands, or, I mean, yeah, <laughs> write down Nine of Wands, but write down number nine, Libra, just write it down, it's your number this week, uh, look it up for numerology, let me know how the message resonates in the comments below, I'm not just saying that as a YouTuber, Libra, I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp, so I care about my Libras, I was gonna say the most, but I feel like that, we don't say nothing. Um, anyways, Nine of Wands cl closing out this current energy. So you're continuously on your right path, Libra. Even if you are uh, shifting in directions and stuff like that, you are definitely answering to your calling. You're definitely in this place of really, we talk about that mental maturity, but this is also a person who, I see the Nine of Wands as an archetype who's in the journey of becoming the Queen of Wands. So I see the Nine of Wands individual on their journey to become the Queen. And so very much so it'd be so funny if we get the queen of wands at the end now <laughs> libra um so yeah i like this now let's get into your future energy page of coins this is new i mean i'm gonna be flat like this is like the new stream of income for you this is the new um deal this is the new whatever the, some some type of new energy channel is being opened up for you whether it's a new connection um new job new it's just new page right so now let's pull some clarifiers for this for your future libra i think i already said that but just to clarify all right got your clarifiers so let me get these set up properly for you libra libra all right 
Nine of Wands. How many times did we get this, Libra? You got Nine of Wands each row. You literally got Nine of Wands in your past, right? You got Nine of Wands in your past. You got Nine of Wands in your present. And now you got Nine of Wands in your future. Libra, come on now. This is your fourth time. Um, Nine of Wands, King, uh, Queen of Cups now. We had your King of Cups. And then the world card. This is the cycle I was talking about that you're breaking, right? I feel like you're um, that old cycle that you, you know, if you're used to just working in a rush, Libra, you're breaking that and going into something new, a new, sh much more structured cycle. Again, you're continually in this progression of like maturity, Libra. I feel like there's not like one specific aspect for yourself that you're maturing in though. And that's confirming to me because it's like you're consistently having like the pentacles coming in as well, really strongly. You're consistently having the uh the um monarchal monarchal is that the word? Monarchy. Monarchy. Honey. Ma why can I not speak? Monarchy, monarchy, the monarch, the kings and queens, honey, of the cups, right? Of the emotions. I feel like you're just overall, everything's just being really extremely refined in your life and really just maturing. Um, just like a fine wine, darling. Um, so I really like this, Libra. Continue on. I really do see this new thing opening up, this new channel of energy coming into your life, whether it's that stream, and, you know, we talked about it, Libra. I really do see you just needing to lean into this deeper. You already are leaning into this deeper, Libra, but can just continue at staying the course with what you're doing. I know you're probably going through a lot of shifts right now in terms of like what you thought your like three month schedule is, right? Your three month planner, right? You probably had to scribble out your three month planner. Heck, some of you Libras probably even your weekly planner, right? Some of y'all probably don't even have a planner, Libra. Um, but I see you guys really doing a lot of good things, Libra. And I'm not just saying that to be biased, right? You're not getting like, there's no like cards that are chastising you. This is all just kind of like staying the course, Libra. It's just like, you're doing a good job, staying the course, continue leaning into this page of coins energy, because whatever that is, for you because that is definitely prom extremely promising for you Libra so yeah that is the cards that I have for you Libra I'm I don't remember what we had in your last reading honey but I know it wasn't this lovely um so <laughs> thank you so much for allowing me to do this for you Libra if you enjoyed this reading be sure to give me a like and subscribe let me know in the comments below which cards resonated and as well Libra I do all the weekly uh tarot zodiac signs for all the zodiac signs how many times can I say zodiac sign so if you have a friend that's in the tarot even if they're not honey uh share my tarot videos with them and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well libra but until next time i love you so much libra